friends in this video we study origin of magnetism and a derivation to find the orbital magnetic dipole moment that is magnetic moment of an electron revolving around the nucleus of an atom what makes some material behave like a magnet while other don't some material like iron behave like a magnet and there are some other material who produce the temporary magnetic field when the magnet is stuck near to it or external magnetic field is applied why this occur to understand it one must consider the building block of any material that is a atom atom consist of a core part called as nucleus contain proton as well as neutron a negatively charged electron revolve around the nucleus in circular orbit this revolution of the electron is equivalent to the tiny current loop as the current carrying circular loop produce the magnetic moment which is defined as current into area in the similar way electron revolving around the nucleus in circular orbit produce the magnetic dipole moment called as orbital magnetic moment which is defined as current into area consider a electron is revolving in clockwise direction the conventional direction of current is opposite to the electron means it will flow in anti clockwise according to right hand thumb rule the direction of orbital magnetic moment is perpendicular to loop and it is upward apart from orbital magnetic moment there is also present a spin magnetic moment what it means as electron revolve around the nucleus in circular orbit along with this electron will spin or rotate about its own axis and this spin motion of the electron produce the spin orbit spin magnetic moment as electron produce the rotation motion it has angular momentum so the spin angular momentum also called as intrinsic angular momentum there are two possible orientation of the spin angular momentum of the electron is present one is up motion another one is down motion you have studied the pauli's exclusion principle according to it no two electron can have the same set of quantum number we know there are four set of quantum number n l ml and ms which define the state of electron the resultant dipole moment for these atom with the pair of electron in the same state will be zero because even number of electrons are present in the innermost orbit and its spin motion will cancelled out so the atom with the odd number of electron in their outermost orbit will possess a non zero resultant magnetic moment so you have to remember the atom with the odd number of electron in their outermost orbit produce the or possess a non zero ma resultant magnetic moment what is the net magnetic moment of atom so atom consist of orbital magnetic moment as well as spin magnetic moment uh, make a vector addition of both the magnetic moment you will get a net magnetic moment so net magnetic moment is vector addition of both this so when we consider a solid material which having the large number of atom and each atom having the net magnetic dipole moment if all the dipole moment or orientation of all the magnetic dipole moment are along the same direction then one part act as a south pole another part act as a north pole and that material behave like a magnet next we derive the orbital magnetic moment consider a electron moving with a constant speed v in circular orbit of radius r around the nucleus in time t electron travel a distance equal to circumference of the circle which is 2 pi r orbital speed v is equal to distance upon time 2 pi r by t we know the current is nothing but charge upon time and charge of electron is e so it is e by t t time is equal to 2 pi by omega omega is angular speed which is linear speed v divided by radius r put the value of t in the equation of i we get i equal to e omega upon 2 pi which is equal to e v upon 2 pi r next we find the orbital magnetic moment which is current into area put the value of current area of the circle is pi r square simplify you will get 1 by 2 e v r 
as the electron produce the rotation motion it has a angular momentum so orbital angular momentum is me vr where me is mass of an electron v is a constant linear speed and r is a radius multiply the m orbit equation and divide by me mass of electron so we get me m orbit equal to e upon 2 me into l e is a charge on elect charge of electron which is constant me is a mass of electron which is also constant so m orbit orbital magnetic moment is directly proportional to the angular momentum as angular momentum is a vector quantity and its direction is defined on the direction of particle it is also defined on the basis of right hand thumb rule so as here the direction of electron is clockwise so direction of angular momentum is downward direction so magnetic moment and the angular momentum both are in opposite direction so if i want to write in the vector form m orbit as m orbit equal to minus e by 2 me into l vector that is it is opposite to the momentum here the ratio e by 2 me is called as a gyromagnetic ratio and this gyromagnetic ratio is the ratio of magnetic dipole moment to its angular momentum from the second postulate of bohr theory which we study in the in uh, which we study in the modern physics according to that for an electron revolving in circular orbit the angular momentum is integral multiple of h by 2 pi means l equal to me vr equal to nh by 2 pi put this value in the orbital magnetic moment we get e nh upon 4 pi me for the first orbit put the value of n as 1 we get m orbit equal to eh by 4 pi me and here eh by 4 pi me this constant ratio is called as a bohr magnetron and all the orbital magnetic dipole moment is defined on the basis of bohr magneton so this is how we can define the orbital magnetic moment thank you